Welcome everybody, also, hi. Yeah, hi. I was editing these. Oh, shit. Ha ha. I was editing these. Okay, well I wanted to get back down anyway, so. So I was editing these. <laughs> what were you doing? Hi. <laughs> I was editing these and, um, I f Because we record in Audacity for this, our yep. voice, okay. and then the game is recorded by Elgato software. Uh -huh. We, uh, when I when I throw them together, you know, I have to edit a little bit. I have to cut something oh, and line whoops. everything up. That's why we have the sync. Yep. Well, I threw this, and because of the delay, the rate at which I click record on one and then record on the other, when I threw them both into Premiere. They were already synced. Nice. That was hilarious. Oh, we were gonna yeah, have so super fan this... Bill a little bit more, but then it didn't work out. So sorry. We missed you, Super Fan Bill. We wish yes. you were here. We got to do one episode, but there will be more. All oh, these stupid puzzles. Uh they're Doo -doo 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 -doo. Reminiscent of uh, Professor Re Layton. Resuscitus, resuscitate the resuscitation of Professor Layton. Yes. Kind of rhyming. A little bit. Yeah, like Professor Layton, game number eighty-seven, the resuscitation of Professor Layton. He's like. Why is it that that game has all the feels? Does he die? Does the girl die? It just. Does she like end up pregnant and have to abort the kid? Just the stories just touch your heart. Well, it's, it's not. Well, what does it touch if you don't have a heart? So it's. Will it touch my wiener? Uh, well, you should play it and then we'll find out what happens when you don't have a heart. Um. Um. So just the story. Mo mostly, there's one game that that's standing in my mind, and those of you that played Professor Layton know what I'm talking about. But there's one game that stands out in my mind as one that kind of has feels that directly involved Leighton himself. Um, and that's the third one. But the other ones, the feels are mostly the stories that involve the characters that you're interacting with during that game. Because each game is going to be different. Each so, game is going to have different characters, different settings. So is it like a Doctor Who and Rose feels? Kind of. You're going to all these different places and you interact with all these different people. Um, Bigger on sword, bitch! Yeah. And the stories that revolve around those characters are usually very, like, they're they're very cool stories, and there there's a lot of feelings that go along. And not and they're not all bad feelings, like oh it was so sad, or it's like oh that's like that's really touching, and that's a really sweet story. Um, but some of them are, are kind of sad, but they're they're really good. I think you'd really like them. They're, the puzzles are really fun, and it's just the stories are really, really great, and they're kind of fun, and they're usually, there's a lot of cool twists and turns. Shit! Uh, but, uh, they're really cool, and I really like them. And they've all been good. There's, like, six of them. So Rex sent me something really fun the other day. It was, uh, a song about being back in the 90s, and I listened to it about 70,000 fucking times. I'm sure you guys have seen it, because it's Probably gone viral at this point. It's it only got started. like 48,000 views, which isn't that many. Yeah, One day. I'm kind of hoping it would get big because it's fucking epic. It is really If you haven't awesome heard of it, awesome it I think it's. Like, the phrase is back to the 90s, but the title of the song isn't quite that. But I think it's by a guy named Ben Garo and Jared Jensen, I believe. I think that was. Anyways, it's it's just really fun. So like, if you grew up in the '90s, um, there's so much stuff that they pile in. I mean, granted, they miss stuff like attack packs and shit like that, but and goosebumps. They there's a lot of really good. Uh, but there, yeah, but yeah, no, there, there's some amazing. Oh fucker, there's some amazing stuff. And it was just it's just such a fun song. It, it just comes by, and it, it's kind of a Backstreet Boys rip off. Mm -hmm. And well, it makes me think of. Have you heard that Owl City song? That's a lot like that's very reminiscent of that type of Ten Million Fireflies. No, not that one. Um oh. Unbelievable it's called. Yeah, it, it Unbelievable. No. Oh. Um, but it's about it's it, it's a lot like that. It, it makes a lot of Dude looks like a lady. 
90s references. I think that was 90s. Like, yeah, comment, and subscribe. Was... Tell me when that was. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was very... It had a lot of 90s references in it. It was, it's a very good song. Check it. It's, I think you'd like it too. I, I mean, I don't know if you're not a fan of El Studio, but I don't mind El Studio. I just heard he's a dink. Yeah. But apparently he's from Ottawa. Yeah, he is. Um, I knew somebody in in college that went to high school with him. He said he was a dink. He said he was. She said he was weird. Oh well, I don't care if he's weird. If he's a nice person. Eh, I think he's kind so of he's weird and a dink. That's like a double that's, whammy. That, you ain't that, never. That was getting, the impression I got. You ain't ever getting laid. Well, he, I'm sure he is now. True, he's got more money than Jesus. Of course. I, well, okay, well, he's not Taylor Swift, but... She's annoying, but I still want to do her. Oh, it's not ugly. No. I'm not kidding. The first time I saw her, uh, when the tear teardrops on my guitar music video, I thought she looked vaguely Asian. No, she does have very thin eyes. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't anymore. Does she have work done? I, I don't know, she just, you know, isn't yeah, 16 no anymore. Shit, Mavi. Navi, I love you, but for the love of fuck, shut up. Dang it, I'm still missing another key. See, this is the one that trips me up. Like, I get really good at, uh... Oh, I think I, I, I know where I... I, I, I think I know the general vicinity, but again, that's why I'm not playing this one, because yeah. I fucking hate this. I This is the one that trips me up. Uh, like like the water temple trips you have like that one I can do pretty easily without missing anything. All right, so I think this we one not so much. Yeah, so I think we're gonna run this long until you get through that door. Until I get my key. Yeah. Just because we did a lot of fiddle dicking in this episode. So far. We did. Well, there, this I mean this temple in general is kind of fiddle dicky. Yeah, that's true. I'm not serious though. Like I was on Ark last night. Uh, I built the bird cage. And I listened to that back to the 90s song, like, I don't know how many times, but I was on there for like three and a half, four hours, and I, I just kept hitting repeat. I put it in my playlist, so I watched it on my way home when I was driving back to town yesterday. You watched YouTube and drove. That's safe. I did not watch YouTube and drive. I, I downloaded the song. from iTunes or? No, from YouTube. I don't know. Because you can, oh, you you can download... It. No, I didn't rip it. You can download... This, this is legal. You can download videos on YouTube. If you have YouTube Red, you can save the videos. And then they're saved offline. And then, you know, you can watch videos with... Or you can play videos with your phone, you know, locked. So you don't have to have the video playing. So I just plug in my audio jack into I, the phone. I, I know. I was I being a smart ass. But you can actually download it on iTunes, too. Oh, can you? Yeah. Good. They have the link on the uh, might do that. But yes, this needs to go viral, because it is epic. So good. Check it out. Especially if you lived in the 90s. <laughs> well, you should look it up. Find out what the name is. Uh, one sec. I know I can find it quick. Yeah, he's, he's looking. All right. So I know there's a key, I believe, at the bottom of that well, and I'm trying to remember... Oh, I think I can get rid of these guys. And then I might be able to get rid of this second one here, but I don't know if I can reach that third one. I love the hook shot, but I can't wait to yeah, get the long I, I shot. I guess it's just called Back to the 90s. Okay, there you go. Oh, but yeah, Ben Garo, okay. G-I-R-O-U-X. It's very, very, very good. good. I love it. I like the the tune is just fun. Like it just, it makes you think of old 90s songs. It really does. There's like Backstreet Boys and Britney Murphy or Britney Spears Murphy's dead. <laughs> Britney Spears Murphy. <laughs> oh, I forgot that Britney Murphy was dead. Sorry, I just ruined your life. Well, no, I, I'm fine with that. I just, it was just kind of like, oh wow. Oh, oh you're fine with her being dead, huh? You're a horrible human being. Yeah, I am. I see death a lot, Derek. You, you get a little desensitized to it from time to time. I'm sorry. Um, how did she die? Was it a drug overdose? I think it was drugs, but I don't want to like besmirch your name and say, and everyone will be like, no, I don't know. So I've had zero desire to watch any of the Netflix Marvel stuff. Um, I nothing would watch against it. it. I just don't Shit. feel like watching much TV. I fucked that up. Yeah, I know you did. Um, like I said, long episode. Um, I it I I love Kristen Ritter, so I kind of thought about seriously considering thinking about watching Jessica Jones, but 
It just... Also, David Tennant's in it, and that makes sense. Yeah, so he's a bad guy. Yeah, and... Skull Gulchula. Anyways, I digress. But then I saw the trailer for the Defenders today, and I was like, uh, well, there goes my life, because now <laughs> I have to catch up on all of these Netflix shows. I've but heard they're just, all good. No, I've never heard that they were bad. It's not that. Um, you're gonna get him. Just take him the fuck out. What? How? Well, not like that. Uh -huh. Take your tap. Cool. Anyways, um, I forgot what I was going to say. So, Defenders. Yeah, it just, it looks bitching. Oh, I was going to say. But So now I got these four fucking shows that I have to catch up now on on Netflix. To be able to watch that. But I also just got into Goliath on Amazon. Which is, what is that? It's a Billy Bob Thornton TV show. He's a disgraced lawyer, but um, it's really good. Okay. Um, I don't know that it's going to be your cup of tea. Like, it's, we're not talking my cousin Vinny style of lawyering. Okay. Um, but I really like it. It's right. it's uh, it's kind of dark. I mean, and it, it's on Amazon, so I mean they can swear. Okay. But uh, and it looks like they must swear in the Marvel series because the trailer for the Defenders. I'm like, this is shit. I was like, fuck yeah, mother. Well, I just is, like swearing. I mean, it's, it's so stupid. Like I love swearing. It's <laughs> it's my favorite pastime. My, I'll it's... just sit on a porch in a rocking chair and just shout obscenities for no reason. I can see you doing that when you are old and retired. So tomorrow. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. Like, and it drives me nuts when shit is censored. I hate censored music. That's like, so there's this bar in Mankato. It's so fucking dumb. It's it's a bar club thing. It's a 21 plus. You cannot get in this place unless you're 21. And they play censored music. That makes about as much sense as a pecker on a pope. Or well, wait. to be fair, the pecker didn't know it was going to be on the pope. Okay, that was a really bad example. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Richard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Richard. I miss her. We had the coolest lunch lady in the world when I was in high school. I don't know her last name, but her first name was Kim. No, it was Mike. <laughs> yeah. Her name was Kim, but... She called me Bill, which is not my real name. And I called her Mike, which was Kim backwards, so it was actually M-I-K. She was super Whoops. awesome. She gave us candy and shit for free. Then she went and, well, and then she quit and actually went and took care of her mom who was yellow and needed support. Yeah. Okay, and I think... So hats off to her because when our mom gets sick and needs support, she's going to a fucking nursing home. I ain't, I ain't wiping her butt. And if that ever happens to me, just take me out back and... Okay, I gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you. Lethal dose of morphine. Got it. That, oh, God, that sounds amazing. Like, I would take that right now. <laughs> you just... Don't care about anything... And then the world just ends. Mm -hmm. That'd be the perfect way to go. Mm -hmm. Not screaming like my grandpa's co passengers in the car. I love that joke. <laughs> You've heard I've that, heard right? It. No. Well, the, 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 so the person is like, I want to die in my sleep just like my grandpa. Not screaming like the passengers in his car. Oh, <laughs> I think I've heard that. So, getting away from that grim subject, I made a carrot cake for the first time today. That was fun. Why in blue perfect hell would you ever make an abomination such as a carrot cake? You're an abomination. I am an abomination. That's why I can call them out. Um, I call them like I is them. So our mom's friend and one of my old professors. Mom is, doesn't have any friends. Holly then. Uh, so she's retiring and uh, my mom said that she really likes carrot cake. And she asked if I would be interested in making carrot cake. Just kidding, she knows mom. I love you. Okay. Because she knows uh, that I really like baking and trying to create cool little frosting designs on cakes and cupcakes because I'm weird and that's just my hobby. Did you share with Lucy yet? The cake I made today? Yeah. No, I haven't. I should. <laughs> um, so I, she said she really likes carrot cake, but she didn't want a store-bought one because she said it's not as good. Um, so I. Well, here's we, the problem. It's fucking carrot cake. Eat real cake. Sorry. It's fucking carrot cake. Eat real cake. Tax just spit on me. Ew! Have well, it back. Why that offend me? Why are you wiping my saliva on me? Because I want you to take it back. I suck at climbing the ladder. Um. So, anyways, I made this carrot cake and I put frosting flowers on it. I was really proud of it. 
and it's tasty. How did all the frosting? Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, how the fuck do you know what the cake tastes? Like? I do know what the cake tastes like. So I use a cake leveler because it, you know, you get kind of a domey shape with any cake. <laughs> And uh, I leveled it off. Well, of course, I'm not going to use... So, stupid question. Is there actually carrot and carrot cake? Yeah. Then why the fuck would you make it? It is not fucking... It's a vegetable. Have you ever had carrot cake? Yes, it's disgusting. Well, then fuck you. Some people like it. I think it's tasty. It tastes like butthole. You taste like butthole. When did you lick me? I know from Tegan. Oh, that is so wrong. Shit! Gonna fall. Don't yep. do that. God yep. damn it. You have to climb all the way back. I now. know. You suck at this game. Fuck you. Alright, well, we're gonna we'll uh we'll see you guys next time on Game RX. Take two successful falling failures. Call us in the morning.